There was a lot of conversation in this episode. I would refrain from discussing the short-term trajectory of Bitcoin. Do we still anticipate such a significant decline? Everyone, we're going to raise awareness. Keep a cautious eye out for scammers as this bull cycle draws near. To what extent is Solana unable to link? Does what's happening there have anything to do with trouble? And I will tell you about it. We'll review it together. Without further ado, take a seat back, unwind, and ledge jump into a Bitcoin price of 68816 which has dropped 1.47% over the last day. At 2462 Ethereum is currently down 1.39%. Since XRP is only about 50 cents, USDT and USDC are both trading at their dollar pegs. In the last day, it has dropped 1.73%. Now, people, the total market value of cryptocurrencies is 2 trillion, 318 billion. From here, whither are we heading? As you are aware, 74K is the Bitcoin key number. Before we can retest 74, we must return above 70. Is it really that easy? Will the price of XRP drop to 45 cents? It's not quite over yet, you know. Keep in mind that the crucial threshold is 40 cents. The price of XRP should not drop below 40 cents. Reputable cryptocurrency released its chart once more. Here is a brief overview of all Bitcoin backend data. He will start by giving you the good and the bad. Let's begin with the positive news. They are good. On this decline, we're seeing some deleveraging into support in the band of $65,000 to $69,000, which indicates that the OI has almost finished its reset from the most recent gain. This bodes well for the bulls. Additionally, the prep premium has increased in Ohio and has mostly had to be adjusted. The bulls are once again benefiting from this, but what's the drawback? The bad news? We can see that the spot CBD has now made a lower low on the latest dip, as we are now in the must-bounce zone of 65 to 69,000. As with every previous rally, takers continue to sell the pumps during their whole advance above the lows. The fact that these measurements lend credence to the notion that a rebound might be imminent is encouraging. All things considered, incorporating a longer time frame into my thinking, I think we might be headed for a series of highs before a more significant correction occurs. Before moving on, let's see if we can obtain this bounce. Cred says that before we witness a sweep of the highs, Bitcoin must remain above $65,000 to $69,000. This, when it occurs, would put us in that new all-time high range. Okay, the correction is visible. We've discussed this Bitcoin correction previously, the question now is, when will it occur? I think the fix will be made in April of the next year. I'm looking at that correction time frame, but only if we achieve that breakout over 74,000. Bitcoin will decline again if we are unable to make the breakout, and if it reaches the 65,000 mark, be prepared for we will probably you're undoubtedly thinking rip when you see Bitcoin filling the CME gap with that load him in the $50,000 range right now. How is this possible? A bull run is underway. We are living in a bull market. What time will these prices expire? It's really easy. Prices rise as we surpass 74,000. Keep in mind that this year is not the end of the bull run. It's not even close to ending this year. We still have some time because the bull run is expected to continue until Q2 and Q3 of 2025. Fake narratives have been widely circulated on social media. Many people are spreading false information in an attempt to get you to click on their links, claiming that the bull run is in November and December. That is only when we begin to rise, and that is when Bitcoin begins to move, but it will start to spill over and continue well into 2025. People's coin market shot, and you should know that. Watch out for con artists. The market capitalization of coins will never DME first. Ripple will never DME first, and neither will I. You won't ever be asked to click for a while. If someone asks you to intercede phrases, click a link to connect the wallet and do so. You must immediately quit. 
numerous nefarious individuals will attempt to obtain your cryptocurrency. If this seems too good to be true, I know several people who have been impacted by it. The offer seems too good to be true. People, stay away. We observe fraudulent attacks, so exercise extreme caution. All of the phishing attempts begin to intensify one of one of the most common strategies, though it was the most blatant, is when they send you an email saying, Your Coinbase account has just been accessed by someone. Please click this link if this isn't you. It will ask you for information. Password reset set seed phrases on it and alter the password. Avoid doing it. You can be certain that you did not access your Coinbase account. It's not you. The email is a phishing scam. Keep an eye on the email address that is being used. Don't stop using those seed sentences. If, for some strange reason, you do get it and you are anxious, never click on links. Avoid clicking on the link. Reset your password on Coinbase website by yourself. Make sure that to transmit a theory, you must factor in both junk and as well. Let's get to a significant trend line. Back up the last three times this trend line was retested. In 2022, Ethereum experienced a significant surge, rising 123% in just three months. It pumped once more in 2022, reaching 107% in 7 months, and now in 2023, it reached 58% in 6 months. The price of Ethereum is currently valued at $2,450 per pump. Excuse me once more, but it is in line with my expectations and might reach a new all-time high in Q1 of 2025. That's exactly right, as the tax season is quickly approaching and that's when the decline will occur. In November, how high may Solana's price go? 2024 it claims to have had its first solid performance in several months in October when it recorded an amazing double-digit increase. What can investors anticipate from Solana this month? This surge has encouraged bullish optimism among analysts, many of whom expected that Solana's price in November might bring more upward momentum for the entire currency. This is what it says down here. Over the last 30 days, Solana experienced a 22% spike. The ability to locate Bitcoin dumps for pumping in addition to Bitcoin pumping has demonstrated tremendous strength in recent weeks. Bitcoin rises as a result. I take it that Solana is attempting to wait for Bitcoin. It does not affect Solana. I have no doubt, he says. This season, it's one of my favorite currencies, and I plan to reach at least $290 in the upcoming weeks. I have a lot of Solana. Recall that we surpass 183. Before we can reach the 290 price objective, we will pump into the necessity to reduce the $200 range. This cycle, I think Solana will make almost $1,000. People, it's not too late. If it weren't for the annoying XRP army, I would have had my cryptocurrency monopoly with Ethereum, and guess what XRP unleashed is coming. A digital asset investor released this. Right now, have you observed a fatality consensus amid any trouble? Many people forget that he and the ETH gate were banding together, and many of these theories are being dumped. We weren't rushing about worrying about rules until Gensler was forced to place the Ethereum free pass in a gray area due to the pressure the ETH gate caused. ETH gate altered the game. Pay attention to this chair. A few years ago, Gensler took over administration. It was recently stated that 75% of these digital assets are obviously not securities. As soon as he took office, he realized that he was not authorized to control these tokens. Congress responded to his request for a mandate by doing what it does best. Because it sat on its hands and, in my opinion, accomplished nothing, Chair Gensler attempted to control our business for whatever reason by essentially carpet bombing every American company with investigations, expensive investigations with Wells notices and lawsuits, and that essentially came to a standstill. Purposely halted the advancement of American technology, in my opinion. Let's assume that we are out of time. When we last spoke about that, we discussed it briefly in Washington, D.C. You said that Congress stopped being involved. All right. What are your hopes that Congress will take action? 
Thus, based on our interactions with both parties, we can see that there is a genuine awareness that decentralized protocols and crypto reflect the next evolution of the internet and the economy. And since we've heard enough, we can quit. We are aware of his corruption as well as that of the entire consensus basis. Jesse Haynes released this in response to the cryptocurrency community if you are associated with an investor. I'm attempting to raise awareness, but I'm not claiming that any of this material is accurate. Since many individuals don't follow the news, hopefully, you are aware of what's happening. Here, it says let's head to the crypto area. The case against Link to Bill Cyrus and Joe also shows the front-running usage of unregistered brokers to promote ahead of 750,000 customers, while the actual number was between 10,000 and 30,000 overcredited. In addition, it details the emerging inside of trade. If that is the case, there is a significant difference. Claiming to have 750,000 users when in reality there were just 10,000. 30% of those 10,000 were credited, and there is a significant difference there. Keep in mind that you must be a credited investor to access the link. It claims that there is an unreasonably large and hidden markup that can occasionally surpass 150% of the thinner's recommended price, with algorithms designed to raise the price each time a unit is bought. To prevent the head of the link to customers from automatically increasing, employees accelerated buddy sales. States did not disclose the link. They caused insecurities in the market. They offered to develop formal marketing strategies by making up the idea that shares were going to sell out. They really went too far with their marketing strategies. By claiming that investors were not purchasing shares, they got around SEC Regulation 506B. According to the marketers, there was no compliance vetting in some areas, and an internal test was only conducted 50% of the time before it was discovered that this did not match vendor standards. This is really concerning, people. I don't know the truth, like I said. The real information about this crypto space is being reported. To let everyone know what might be happening, I am covering the news. However, there is undoubtedly a lawsuit pending in California at the moment. Be extremely cautious. People, exercise extreme caution.